I'm a playologist. I'm from cohort one. And I'm here to show what happens one year later. And I'm here to say thank you, Kiara, and how proud I am to be a part of an organization that has influenced me and my team and potentially influenced my industry in a way that I don't think anyone has ever thought of before. As a playologist, I'm also an inventor. And I invent really big things, like the size of theme parks. And so I take my knowledge of play and how to bring people together. I use my inventor brain, and I come up with attractions that are actually facilitating interactivity and immersion between each other. So I get a really good landscape to work from. I get a good, sizable feasibility and financial support to play around with people's minds, monies, and hearts to bring them together to do something positive. So when I was a psychologist, doing it in a room with a family was an honor. But doing it with millions of families through the same techniques that we're healing and helping actually provide support, solving problems, and creating unity. So I've been on a little bit of mission. Oh, there I am. Oh, hi. So last year, I started Infinite Kingdoms. And the reason why I started it is it's time to invent again. So I took my ideas around creating gamification. It's like Fortnite, come to life, but you are the avatar in the middle of a real world experience. And what I tried to do with it with the magic wands is to make it more physical and digital at the same time. And so I actually came up with technology this last year in which I'm using high end image recognition and prop recognition so that I didn't have to embed things. I can basically make anything you have on you come to life and then digitalize you into an avatar that would roam around the park with you. That is being released in the next week and I'm really, really proud of it. So instead of you staring at a little screen, being absorbed into this little world, you go to big world instead play with your other you, and become powerful together. Lots of collaboration, family involvement, experiences, and basically getting out of the house and playing. So that was part of the inventions of my last year, and bringing to one of the largest parks in Germany a full-on experience that makes you feel like you don't know who's real and who's not. So part of the fantasy of that digital being, or is it a real being? And then they step through the door and you go, well, that's real. I showed this to the youth. This is my newest invention. I got some feedback from it. It's called Magic Campfire. What this is is coming from my grandson when I took him. He's now three years old to a movie for the very first time. We sat in the movie and stared at the screen, and I spent 50% of the time going like this. <laughs> Did you like that? Was that fun? I said, whoever came up with this idea to sit and watch something shoulder to shoulder, when the origins of storytelling was around a campfire. What? So I said, I think I have an invention here. <laughs> and I went back to the traditions of campfire and literally build a platform from the home experience all the way to the live immersion. Now, building a campfire is not that hard, but making it smart and digital and capable of telling stories instantly is hard. But I'm halfway there. I've got many clients interested in bringing this to life in their resorts, in their museums. Just imagine everything that you can do. Real content. Now, here's the fun part. You know how like you go to an experience and you want to personalize it like social media and you want to make it happen instantly? Well, you can have a log. That log will know you, know you stories. And you basically walk up to the campfire that's glowing and technology and projections and you log in. And when you log in, <laughs> and when you log in, it actually starts telling your story. So imagine how we can listen to the stories of others, not shoulder to the shoulder, but in the round. So a little bit of the trick of my play is that I'm getting people to not only go and enjoy entertainment, but look into each other's eyes across the fire, 
the glow of the human spirit between each other, making stories and worlds come to life in real time with real heart. And I love this invention, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what I'm looking for from all of you. So last year, this is my cohort, I was very humbled because I sat here with my inventive mind and everything that I do as a playologist and said, why am I here? I don't understand and I don't practice sustainability like I should and I, the shame of not being able to give the way I wanted to give and I, I was not <laughs> feeling like I had it going. So I said, this is where I put my hat on and I invent and I use the energy that I got from EHF from the Mahdi and to listen to what my teachings were and not just be 55 years old at that time and not ready to learn, but open myself to see what happens as an inventor. Ah, it hit me within a couple of months. So I build large-scale water park attractions out there in the big open world where everything is right there for it to play with. And I decided that after all these years of creating these kinds of attractions, that I was going to not only make the purpose to bring people together, but to actually put play with a purpose. And as suddenly, I was able to think through a mission to create the world's first sustainable attractions combining solar, wind, hydro, and play to reach zero net. How about that? I'm so excited you like it. <laughs> so next week is my largest trade show in the industry where 40,000 people will ascend to look at new attractions. And I will be proudly telling about how EHF has inspired me, how the Mari has inspired me to do one very important thing. So when we do this as a team, I bring my experts together. We came up with the solution model, and this is the first time anyone is going to see it. So I look forward to you as the release of impact attractions, where it's energy collection, energy renewal equals zero net. Kids today are friends with the Earth, and they love to play together. Isn't it time we invited the Earth to play too? Solar panels, wind turbines, they are being put into parking lots, on roofs, and in remote places. What if instead we creatively designed them into our parks? Wouldn't that be a great conversation starter with our kids, with our parents, with everyone? That's why we have designed a renewable energy water play system with a net zero energy impact. This first-of-its-kind, multi-generation system is powered by sun, wind, water, and play. It's time to give our park something new and renewable with meaning, because that's what our guests are waiting for. Impact. We're inviting the Earth to play. <laughs> that was a lot of work, by the way. Just <laughs> figure out how to get the solar panels on the bubble. Anyway, what's immensely incredible about this is already, as the industry knows that we're doing this, Instead of providing the problem, I'm just handing them the solution. And instead of it being behind in the parking lots where they don't get to show their energy resources and what they're doing, I put it right in front of their guest face. And now they get to watch and play and see how it really works. They can learn and experience in a for-profit water park, right? This is big when you think about the access to the minds and experiences, the money and the support. 
it's just the way to make things happen sometimes is you got to start on the runway that lets you get there. Now, one of the things that we do when we build attractions, we have to count the people, the capacity of people that come to play. So I made the decision that when I built these structures, that I was actually going to have 200 people being able to come and play on a unit like this at one time, plus one. And this is where I am grateful to the iwi in teaching me to respect the earth as a person. And so in all of our advertisements, even when we show who our company is, there's a picture of the earth as a co-creator who provides her wonderfulness to us to play with. So in the beginning of the video, the little slight hint of the girl looking up into the sky, the sun was inviting her, the earth was inviting her to come play. So we were thinking even in a way of grabbing the market, we would do that. Now, speaking of grabbing them, all of you to help me play, I want you to help me. I am looking for you to support. I'm looking to actually engage this isn't just volunteers, but if you want, that's great. I'm ready to teach and share my knowledge. I want you to join me in this exploration. I've got a runway. You want to come fly with me? Do you like the Digimi? Do you want to create digital characters that come to life and follow you around an experience? Do you like the magic campfire? Come get my card, give me yours, and I will play with you. Ask some of my cohorts. I'm real. Thank <laughs> you.